purpose of this video is to show off the new features of the final design iteration of the SK-15. So now for 2017, um, the biggest difference is that we have incorporated an AR-15 style um, trigger group to the rifle. So now um, we've eliminated all the stuff that was in the SKS trigger group up in the way of the bolt hold open, which means that we now have a externally activated bolt hold open release tab. So it's now possible to drop the bolt from either side of the fire control group. Um, all the other features of the SK-15 still present, so we have uh, ambidextrous safety, ambidextrous magazine release, although feature that's new for this year is that we now have um, a drop free assist for the magazines, so magazines being straight insert, uh, straight remove, there was still the, um, the support tabs that sit down behind the magazine um, that kind of keep them from falling straight down. So now what we can do uh, when your magazine runs dry is uh, you just hit the magazine release with sufficient force and the magazine goes flying, which I think is pretty cool. Um, other than that, another feature is that now, because we have the drop-free assist, you now have uh, AK-style thumb-actuated magazine removal, which is great for one-handed operation or for operation with appendages other than your hand, which is pretty cool. Um, also, we now have uh, a left-side non-reciprocating charging handle located on the handguard. So, the really cool thing about this is that um, because it's on the handguard, um, you could uh, swap out like different styles of handguard. Um, and it also doesn't impede the ordinary field stripping of the rifle, although the optic that I have on here actually would. But um, the, uh, the SK 15 design is also designed to let you work with the rifle. So, um, sorry, work with the SKS's uh, features that already exist. So for example, we still have uh, stripper clip feeding. is exactly the same as it would be on our SKS ordinarily, so you can just pull everything out the way you would ordinarily. Um, probably a good idea to drop the magazine before you field strip your rifle. Yeah, safety first and all that. These are dud rounds, so, you know, I'll do armchair generals out there. <clears throat> but yeah, you can still field strip your rifle for cleaning. You don't have to drop the um, uh, replacement fire control group if you don't want to, but if you do, you can. And uh, but the best thing about the SK-15 design is that it's modular and you don't have to um, make any permanent modifications to the SKS receiver, which I guess is really two things. But so the, um, the fire control group is, uh, is modular. The magazine well is also a module. It pins through the bolt hold open um, stop pin here and it hooks onto the, 
um, the front magazine uh, tab um, on the uh, on the barrel. The handguard would also be replaceable then because it's separate from the magazine well. Um, so you could like, you know, we, we could design longer handguards, uh, you know, lightweight handguards. Um, you know, different configurations are possible because, you know, the handguard, the magazine well, and the fire control group are all separate assemblies. And this is exceedingly awkward to try to do on camera because you have to make sure that the uh, bolt catch is lined up. So, anyway, that is all the features of the SK-15 Mark II, which uh, might get renamed the SK-17. SK um, anyway, uh, questions? Ask them in the comments. Um, this is a function prototype. I'm not doing builds for people. Um, and I have no idea when or how it would be coming to market. I can't tell you how to go buy one because <laughs> I'm just a guy. Uh, I have no machine shop and nothing on this rifle is machined in any way. It's all just welded together uh, tube steel, um, bits of found metal that were in my garage. Um, I don't have any financing or business experience, but I hope I have a lot of good ideas. And um, this rifle works. So if somebody out there in the Preferably in the very Ontario, greater Toronto area, is like, hey, that's great. I want to get behind this guy and help him make this thing happen. Then that would be cool. Um, but other than that, this is William Campbell, and this is the SK-15 Mark II.